Afternoon guys, welcome back to Don Amots. Today you've got my wonderful self James and you've got the wonderful Wendy as well behind the camera. But next to me we have got another wonderful actually, uh, Auto Trail F60. Um, so these are, I guess you'd say the compact of the Auto Trail F line range. So you've got the F60 and the F62, which is a similar layout. This is the F60. So this particular van is a four berth, four travel van. This has got the drop down bed, which to me makes it really unique in a very special layout, probably one of the best layouts in my personal opinion that you can get in these for a really practical sized, good amount of berth, good amount of travel van. It's 5.99 metres, so it's under that magic six metres, based on the Ford chassis, so it's the transit cab that you may recognise as well. If we come round a bit more, so it's kind of this copper colour now i think it's gorgeous personally and you find the decals follow through on the back it just makes it stand out a bit this is the automatic as well so it's ford six-speed automatic really good gearbox by far one of the best in my personal opinion again this particular one has done just over 12,500 miles and some change so it's 2020 registered so as we are at the moment it's roughly four years old so it's done very little mileage over that time you know three-ish thousand a year really um so coming around further power cable on the side water fill up and where your two gas bottles go surprisingly it can fit two six kgs in there as well a lot of people look at it and think you'll only be able to fit one definitely can fit two coming further around You've then got your bike rack and your reversing camera just below your high level brake light and your toilet cassette. And then probably one of the best features of this, because again, you don't expect there to be much garage space. There is. Outside barbecue point, fridge vents, and then your electronic step and then second bit of outside space massive area okay so following me here you then get your fly screen and your bim and your nice brolly just like a rolls royce that you get them included all right could you jump in when yeah you do that's very true very very true all right i'm just going to shut this for a moment because it is horrible out there all right so if wendy you go yeah. first so you may notice straight away there's a ginormous screen on the dashboard yeah. that's called the exempt screen so within that you can do apple carplay android auto um you can get a little sd card so you can run sat nav on it as well bluetooth connection digital radio that's where your reversing camera shows up as well a really good information screen probably one of the best out there yeah. you've got AC just below that, so air conditioning just below that for the cab. Mm -hmm. You've got USB connections, 12 volt connections, cruise control, multi multi-function steering wheel, everything you expect from a normal car, automatic headlights as well. So really like a car, shall I say. Yeah. You've got electric windows and electric adjustable wing mirrors. Further back here, so you may have noticed Wendy was in one of the captain's chairs. The driver's seat is a captain's chair as well. Yeah. So they do both swivel, which makes us into a ginormous lounge, which you can you know, easily fit six people at, I yeah. think. Um, four very comfortably, six no problem. Two extra belted seats just here. So one on this side, one on that side. So you've got the two behind Wendy, then these two. Then this area also creates a double bed. So as you can probably guess from, you know, kind of, the silhouette of it it's going to be a large double bed it's not going to be a very small one and then again above us and what i'll do wendy if it's all right while you're standing there i'm just going to bring this down i'm just going to stop it just there for the moment again you get a good idea of how large this bed is it's a good width mm -hmm. and obviously you're going to be sleeping on it transversely but that's the benefit of it because then you get the whole width of the van it's ginormous you know if you easy to be six foot just over and you're going to have loads of room mm -hmm. um you have got a ladder just in the middle of us here which connects into two lugs just here now this bed can stop here you can also come a little bit lower as well so if you don't want to use the ladder 
don't have to. You've got another light just up there as well, a bit of a reading light. And then the bed's completely electronic. So, sorry, just watch Wendy's hand there. Thank you, Wendy. My helpful assistant. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay, so just below the bed, storage cupboards. And that's the same on both sides. Thanking you. And then under this seat, you then have access to that outside locker, yeah. if you remember as well. You can also remove this cushion and, well, you don't need to remove that one, but this one you can, because obviously then if you've got two passengers, you can, yeah, them. yeah, exactly. You don't have to sit with your legs up. <laughs> so coming back to the kitchen area, plug socket. And then if we open your two cupboards, big cupboards with a shelf unit, you also notice up there, I don't know if you can initially, but you've got your solar charger unit up there as well, where you can change it between um, leisure battery and vehicle battery as well, which is a handy gadget. And then you've got your large deep sink, and then your three burner gas rings as well. And then just below that, you've got your grill and your oven. Thetford, shall I say. Thanking you. Pop that back down. In here, so A, you've got a shelving unit. Sorry, Wendy. A, you've got a shelving unit. But secondly, you've got a drawer for your cutlery, which is already spaced out. Yeah. Clever space. Cupboard just down there. Yeah. And then another one just below. A little bit smaller, but still good use of space. And then coming behind me, initially... I'll go to the telly in a minute. Sorry, yeah, Wendy. Right. Um, you've got your freestanding fold-out table just there, yeah. which can be used just behind where Wendy is in your lounge yeah. area, but more importantly, outside. And then just above us, we've got your large Avtex TV. I'd probably say that's circa 21 inch, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then next to us, you've got your control panel, your whale heating system. So it's a blown air system. So you'll notice as we go along, there will be air vents mm -hmm. periodically along the van. Maybe your controls for your bed, but then you've got your fridge. I think it's that side. Oh, I had the my same. apologies. <laughs> Every day's a school day. <laughs> and then you've got your freezer nice. in the top. It's, it's actually a really good size fridge because it's tall. Yep. And then if Wendy goes first, ooh, yep. now we put protective mats over all yeah. our carpets so people don't mess them up with our with their feet, but it also means sometimes doors are a little bit sticky. Yeah. So you've got a large shower room, which is individual separate shower with LED lighting above it. It's actually, again, for the smaller size van, it's a very large area. Nice fixed basin with cupboard below, toilet with your yep. cupboard. And then the bit that no one ever expects, a massive wardrobe yeah. loads of room for clothes in there and you also have your insert for your extra bed yeah. in the front in there as well but i won't bore you too much with that so i think you know to sum it up for we have so many people ask us these days for a van that's under six meters it's got a separate shower separate toilet and a large space that is large kitchen with a large lounge that travels for and sleeps for and ideally has a fixed bed. Well, as you guys probably know, that, that van doesn't exist, you know, but this is as close to that because that's your fixed bed. Yeah. And instead of having it at the end and adding another metre and a half at the end, you're basically using space from the ceiling. That's not that's normally dead space. So I really think for practicality and if you want a nice compact van but still want everything, this is your van. You know, and they're built to a good quality. They're spacious. You've seen how easy Wendy and me have moved around here. And we're trying to do a video, so there always needs to be a big, big amount of space. Not been bashing elbows or getting in each other's way. I think that proves if there's four of you in here, it's going to be a really accessible van. It will be on our showground a little later today. These do sell quickly. So I really recommend to anyone, pick up the phone, ask myself, James, speak to any of the girls or guys here, and we'll be more than happy to help. Alternatively, come down, make an appointment, see it and you really won't be disappointed. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.